When you ask a Catholic their confidence why they believe that their church is the true church is usually their apostolic succession. They think that they have the history to back it up and that the lineage of popes can be traced back to Peter. But here are four historical facts that Catholics do not tell you or are not aware of. Are you ready for this? Come and watch. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to re-engineer your belief, making it more sound and relatable to known reality. 1. The most ancient list of popes came from Hegesippus in around 150 AD to 160 AD. The supposed third pope died in around 99 AD. Therefore, Hegesippus' list of the first few popes was not his eyewitness account. It may have been hearsay, only coming from people who lived during the period when he made that list. 2. Although the Hagasipus list is lost to us, Arrhenius, when he made his list in around 170 AD, he may have used the Hagasipus list. Julius Africanus in the 3rd century may also have used the Hagasipus list. Then, in around the 4th century, Eusebius in his Chronicle and History used Africanus' list. But Eusebius, who sourced his list from Africanus, to which Africanus used Hagesippus' list, slightly corrected the dates for reasons that are not clear. 3. The Liberian catalog produced around 350 AD placed the date of Linus pontification in around 56 AD to 67 AD, which is problematic for Catholics, because on this date, Peter was still alive. If the dates are correct during this period, the papacy would overlap, which is odd, because there would be two popes sitting on the same chair at the same time. Four. In Clement to James's letter, dated around the early 3rd century, the document claimed that before Peter died, he chose Clement as his successor. But after Peter died, the bishops conducted an election, and then elected Linus, which Peter did not choose to succeed. This begs the question, why? I mean, if Peter had the power to bind and lose, and choose a successor before he died, why would they conduct an election only to elect someone whom Peter did not choose? It's like they disrespect Peter's authority. Now this is not to discredit the Catholics, however. This is in the historical record. You just have to research diligently.